Brian was melancholy. We had to kind of force Brian to come into the studio. I think people relate to that too. You can understand what that means. He was now shattered, afraid, paranoid, in his room, wouldn't come out, couldn't do anything. It was one of the periods of my life where I didn't really know for sure what I wanted to do, you know? So I just lay there on the, on the floor in the booth and just meditate and think while the other guys would be working. He was now shattered, afraid, paranoid. I was Mr. Positive Thinker. He had a year or two to live and he had died. He started to st spend more time in his upstairs in the bedroom. I was Mr. Positive Thinker. He was now shattered, afraid, paranoid. Stayed in my bedroom, thought a lot, planned, but didn't really go out very often anywhere. He was now shattered, afraid, paranoid. He had a year or two to live and he had died. He was now shattered, afraid, paranoid. We always hear the stories about Brian Wilson mm -hmm. and uh, his problems over the years. How's he doing? Uh, I think he's doing great right now. He's just recently become involved in a in a in a program that's total, you know, uh, mental, physical, uh, a purification thing. He's but I got back on my feet. I started slugging away, and getting going. You know? Emotional stability was what Wilson was searching for. Lost about 40 pounds. He was really overweight. He's an obsessive person. He, he, at one time, an excessive person. I mean, at one time he was excessively into music and, and gave, came out with what uh, eventually became one of the most successful writing careers ever. And then he got excessively into some drugs. First he fought with his band, then he was forced to fight mental illness and alcoholism. I was drinking a lot of booze and you know, I needed it to, the, to numb some of my emotional pain. Then excessively into eating the last few years, so he was, ex he was really heavy. But now he's lost about 40 pounds and he's on the way to, I think, a, a real good sound recovery and said, we are worried that Brian Wilson is going to follow Elvis. Oh, God, no. The psychologist, Dr. Gene Landy. Oh, God, no. The psychologist, Dr. Gene Landy. Uh, Gene Landy. Is Gene around? Oh, God, no. The psychologist, Dr. Gene Landy. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing him, in fact, uh, this weekend. Oh, God, no. Does he still have the nutty doctors around him or no? No, that Dr. Landy passed away uh, earlier in the year. He's not a good guy, right? No. Uh, Gene Landy, is Gene around? Can we just, can we get uh, him up? Well, he was good as, at, in terms of he was hardcore and he got in and he did a, what they call a 24-hour therapy. I did because I, I had to. My, my doctor of mine said, look, you're going to have to do it now or you'll never do it. We're, you we're also good. lost weight, didn't you? Why aren't yeah. you much heavier? Oh, I won't even tell you. How, how much? A hundred pounds. <gasps> <laughs> he was in Brian's wallet for 24 hours a day. But anyway, he, he did. <laughs> do it now or you'll never do it. I believe he contributed to saving his life. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he looked better when Landy was taken care of him than he, than he has before or since. Uh, Gene Landy, is Gene around? So he doesn't, he doesn't tour with the group then when you guys go out? He's toured the last couple of years, but, but, but then recently we said, look it. We want you to get healthy and then come back and, and tour with us. Uh, I think it's more important that he enjoys life and himself as much as the people are enjoying his music. Mm. And uh, that's what we more or less came together as a group and decided that, that he should get himself together, which he's doing now. Yeah, when you saw this happening to him, when the group was doing all the, the, the hits and everything, and you saw him going off on the deep end or whatever, mm -hmm. how did that affect the whole, the, the group as a whole? I burned my brain out. Hardly at all. <laughs> my brain got burned out. And I... Hardly at all. <laughs> and, and nothing left in my brain, you know? Not just the Dr. Nanny program, but there's, everybody has to have a little imprisonment in order to, to understand that. So I complimented Brian's melancholy 
with my upbeatness. Hardly at all. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. So we're used to performing without Brian. <laughs> oh, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. Without Brian. Good, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> without Brian. Good, good boy. <laughs> uh, Gene Laddie, was Gene around? He was in Brian's wallet for 24 hours a day. But anyway, <laughs> he, he did. I had a doctor taking care of me, and finally I got back on my feet through, through his aid. Uh, Gene Lanny, was Gene around? A man who's been paid a fortune. Hardly at all. <laughs>